splits fly, bodies drop and blood splatters against the walls. In a world where violence is the norm, one hitman stands out from the rest. His name is Leon, but he's not your typical assassin. He's a man with a heart. Welcome to our deep dive into the character and symbolism of Leon the Professional. Join us as we unpack the layers of this iconic hitman and explore the themes of humanity, morality and redemption that lie beneath the surface. From the opening scene to the heart-wrenching conclusion, Leon's journey is a masterclass in storytelling, but it's not just a tale of a lone gunman taking down bad guys. It's a tale of a man struggling to come to terms with his violent profession while trying to maintain his sense of empathy and compassion. Through the eyes of Leon and his unlikely protege, Matilda, we witness a dichotomy of human nature, the light and the darkness, the good and the bad, and we are forced to confront our own moral compass in the face of such stark contrasts. Leon is a solitary man who moves through the world like a ghost, leaving no trace behind him. He's a man of few words, preferring instead to let his actions speak for him. Despite his brutal profession, Leon is not without his own code of ethics. He only kills those who deserve it, and he always follows through on his contracts. Leon is a legend in the world of assassins, and his name is whispered in hushed tones. He is a man who has seen the worst of humanity and has come out the other side, hardened and unbreakable. Leon's personality is shaped by his profession as a hitman, and his survival depends on his ability to remain stoic, disciplined, and emotionally detached. His stoicism is essential to his profession, and it allows him to make tough decisions and carry out his contracts without hesitation. For example, when his beloved plant is killed by a corrupt DEA agent, Leon shows no outward signs of anger or sadness. He simply replaces the plant and continues with his work as if nothing has happened. His discipline is also key, as he is meticulous in his planning and execution and is highly skilled in hand-to-hand -hand combat and marksmanship. Leon's lack of emotional expression is the most striking aspect of his personality, as he is a man who has seen and done things that would break most people, yet he remains detached and impassive. His stoicism, discipline, and lack of emotional expression are what make him such an effective killer. But at its core, Leon the Professional is a film about the human cost of violence and the struggle for redemption. Through its exploration of the character of Leon, the film offers a powerful meditation on these themes. One of the central philosophical themes of the film is the idea that violence begets violence. Throughout the movie, we see how Leon's actions as a hitman have far-reaching consequences, both for his victims and for himself. When he takes on a job to eliminate a corrupt DEA agent, for example, his actions lead to a chain of events that ultimately result in the death of his beloved plant. This sequence of events serves as a powerful metaphor for the destructive nature of violence, suggesting that even seemingly innocuous actions can have profound and far-reaching consequences. Another key theme of the film is the idea that redemption is possible, even in the face of overwhelming darkness. Through his relationship with Matilda, Leon begins to see a way out of his life of violence and isolation, finding a sense of purpose and meaning beyond his work as a hitman. This struggle for redemption is a central element of Leon's character arc, and it serves as a powerful reminder that even the most broken and damaged individuals can find hope and redemption in the most unexpected places. The film explores themes of bleakness and contemplation through powerful visuals and memorable characters. Its visual language is rich and evocative, conveying the weight and emotional intensity of its subject matter. Jean Reno and Natalie Portman's performances bring the character to life, imbuing with them depth and complexity that lingers long after the credits have rolled. The relationship between Leon and Matilda in Leon the Professional is the heart and soul of the film. At the outset, Leon is a solitary and detached hitman, but his life takes an unexpected turn when he meets Matilda, a young girl whose family is brutally murdered by corrupt DEA agents. Although initially reluctant to get involved with Matilda, Leon gradually becomes her mentor, teaching her the skills she needs to seek vengeance against those who wronged her family. As their relationship grows, Leon becomes increasingly invested in Matilda and she becomes his surrogate daughter. Over the course of the film, Leon's character undergoes a profound transformation, largely as a result of his interactions with Matilda. 
through her eyes, he begins to question the morality of his profession and the way he has been living his life. Leon's newfound empathy and compassion are evident when he decides to spare the life of a target, recognizing that the man has a family who would suffer if he were to kill him. As his bond with Matilda deepens, Leon is also forced to confront his own emotional vulnerability, something he has long suppressed. In one particularly poignant scene, he confides in Matilda that he had never experienced love before meeting her. The relationship between Leon and Matilda is more complicated in the original cut of the film, with Leon spending more time teaching Matilda the intricacies of being an assassin. Matilda tries to seduce him, saying she is in love with him, and while Leon never shows a sexual interest in her, some viewers can't help but see the relationship as pedophilic or socially inappropriate. Director Luke Benson didn't intend for anyone to think Leon had a sexual interest in Matilda, but it's important to remember she's a child and doesn't know what her emotions mean. Leon himself is a bit of a child in the ways that Matilda isn't, and his feelings toward Matilda awaken an appreciation for life and show there's a reason for him to exist. Jean Reno does an excellent job conveying his discomfort every time Matilda attempts to act beyond her age or understanding. The film should be interpreted as anti-pedophilic, as even a guy who is fine with killing a room full of people isn't low enough to touch a 12-year-old. You'd notice the character of Leon has a soft spot for milk, which is a symbol of his paternal concern for Matilda instead of sexual connection. The milk symbolizes Leon's desire to care for and protect Matilda and his role as a parental figure in her life. It also serves as a contrast to the violence and darkness of his profession, highlighting the tender and nurturing side of his character. Director Luke Benson uses milk as a metaphor to explore the differences between Leon and Matilda emphasizing the contrasts between their gender, size, strength, and knowledge. The milk serves as a reminder of the innocence and purity that Leon sees in Matilda and his desire to shield her from the harsh realities of the world. Ultimately, the milk in Leon the Professional is a powerful symbol of the relationship between Leon and Matilda, representing the care, protection, and innocence that bind them together in the face of violence and darkness. Matilda's choker also plays a role here. It's a symbol of subversion, of the alternative potential of the body, and of what her family expects of her. It is a symbol of rebellion and the alternative potential of the body, representing both her vulnerability and her strength. Initially, the choker is a physical manifestation of Matilda's traumatic past and her current situation as a young girl living on the streets. It serves as a reminder of her vulnerability and the harsh realities of her life. However, as Matilda begins her training with Leon and becomes more empowered, the choker takes on a new meaning. It becomes a symbol of her strength and resilience in the face of adversity. In one key scene, Matilda removes the choker and gives it to Leon, symbolizing her trust in him and her willingness to let go of her painful past. Later in the film, when Matilda is faced with danger and uncertainty, she puts the choker back on, showing that she still carries the scars of her past, but is now strong enough to face them. Not only Matilda, but Leon too wears an important accessory, which is quite symbolic in the film. Leon's circular 70s style sunglasses are a powerful symbol of his character and journey in Leon the Professional. The circular shape alludes to the cyclic nature of Leon's life as a hitman, and the circles symbolize unity and the bond between Leon and Matilda. Additionally, the sunglasses serve as a reflection of Leon's private and introverted nature, blocking his eyes to protect himself. However, Leon's relationship with Matilda begins to break down his emotional walls, allowing him to connect more deeply with his feelings and the world around him. The sunglasses serve as a powerful symbol of this transformation from a detached and isolated hitman to a caring and compassionate mentor. Speaking of symbolism, plants hold a poignant symbol in Leon the Professional, representing the delicate balance between life and death and the potential for renewal amidst chaos and darkness. Leon's plant in his apartment is a testament to his desire for growth and renewal and his ability to care for and nurture living things even in the midst of his profession as a hitman. As their relationship deepens, the plant becomes a symbol for their growing connection and the shared responsibility they have for nurturing life. 
In a poignant scene, Leon returns home to find his plant has been knocked over, a metaphor for the chaos and danger that have infiltrated his life. Matilda has saved the plant, reaffirming their bond and their shared responsibility for nurturing life. Now it's your turn to join the discussion. What did you think of our analysis? Did we miss any important symbolism or character movements? Do you have any theories about the meaning behind the choker or the plant in the film? Leave your thoughts in the comments below and keep the conversation going. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more in-depth analysis of your favorite films and characters. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.